We're now on Daf Samach Amid Beis, and we're talking about Tiglachas Revius after another additional Shloshim Yom, and he's going to bring all the Karbonas of a Nazir Tar, which means a Kiv Salachatas, a Kevis Leol, and Nihil Shlomim, and he makes the following Tznai. Ve'i, it should say, De'i, that's the proper gear. So De'i Vade Nazir, who, if during the days of his first Nazirus, he was not Tommy at all, and he wasn't a Mitzorah either. So now he is Bitara from the moment that he accepted upon his Nazirus until now. Is Ola Rishona, the Ola's behavior that he brought with the first Tiglachas. That's Ola Lo Lechovasa. Vizu. I now he's bringing in Ola at the time of Tiglachas Revis. That should be a Nadav. He's not obligated in this Ola because he was Yotu with the Ola's behemoth that he brought with Tiglachas Rishona. But that's if he did not contract to him. Let's go to the other extreme. Let's say he was Nitma Rishonim both with Tsaras and with Tumas Mes. So only now, at the time of Tiglachas Revis, was he Yotzi Yedei Nazirus, because the first two periods of Shloshim Yom, adding up to 60, were days of Tumas Mitzora. And he only starts his Nazirus with the third set of 30 days, and he needs another set of 30 days, maybe he was a Nazir Tameh. Is Ola Rishona, so the Ola's Behema that he brought at the time to Glachas Rishona is Nedava, because an Ola is Bob and Nedava. Vizu, and now at the time of Tiglachas Revius, he's bringing his Ola's Chova. So that's as far as Ola and Ola's Behema. Now, Vizeh, now we're going to talk about Chatos and Shlomim, which he has to bring, as we said, at the end of the second s- cycle of 60 days, is Sha'ar Karbono. In other words, he has a din of a Nazir who has to bring, in addition to the Ola, he has to bring a Chatos and a Shlomim. Now, even if he was Yotze is Nazir's Tara with one of the earlier 30 day periods of Nazir's. Nevertheless, because of the Sveikos, that maybe he hasn't yet brought his Chovaso, his Chatas Ushlom Chovaso, he only brought his Ola. Now he certainly fulfills his Nazir's by bringing a Chatas and Shlom. And now the Gemara wants to explain the other periods of time that a Nazir has to wait in order to eat Kodshim and Shtias Yayin and Tumas Mesim. And he says, Tomei Suffolk, if initially we have a Suffolk, whether he touched the Mesa or not, um, Muchlat Vadai, let's say we knew for sure that he was a Mitzorah Muchlat, then he could be Megalech immediately on Yom Shenir Pamitzoroso because of Essay Dochalosasa. Then he counts seven days and he could be Megalech Shnir for his second mitzvah of Teglachas Mitzora after Sphira of Zion Yomin. On the next day, which is Yom Ashmini, he brings his Korbanos. And then he could be Ochel Bekodshim after these eight days. However, if we calculate for the beginning of Nazirus, he could only drink wine and be metamela mesim in 67 days after his be- the beginning of Nazirus, because there's no certainty that he in fact contracted tumor. So he's not allowed to be megaleach like a Nazir Tome. Because immediately after the seven days of the second Giluch of his Saras, we're going to say that maybe you, you did not contract Tumor, 
and now you're in the days of Naziris, and therefore you can't be Megaleh, because the Yisra Giluach during Naziris, therefore he has to wait from the Giluach Sheni, Shloshim Yom. And on the day Shloshim, the Echad, he's Megaleh. Now he comes to drink wine, we're going to say to him, wait, you might have also been a Tome, and therefore you weren't Yotze Yedei Chovas Neziruscha as a Tome, and therefore you have to count another 30 days. So the total number of days that have passed since he began his Nezirus, after his Kabbalah's Nezirus, would be Shiva Litzaraso, and another 60 days for his Nezirus totaling 67 days. And afterwards, on day 68, he will bring his karbonos and it'll be megalech, and then he can drink wine and be mentamele mesa. But if at the time of, his, of the beginning of his Naziris, he was a mitzorah muchlat safeg, for vadai, now a flip situation, where he was tomei vadai, then ochel bekotshim lachar shloshim v'shiva yomim. So from the time of Nirva Mitzaraso, since there's no Vados that he was really a Tomei Smitsora, he cannot be Megaleach immediately after Nirva. He'll have to wait in addition to seven days and Hazar of Shlishi Yushvi, because he's a Tomei Vadai, on Shvi Litaraso, Mitumus Meso, on that day he can do Giluach. And it's Ola either for Tzeras or for Tuma. Now, if he comes to do the Giluach, a second Giluach for Tzeras or Kiddino, after seven days waiting past the, counting past the Giluach Rishon, then we say, wait a minute, maybe you weren't a Mitzora, and now you're in the period of Naziris, and therefore you have to wait another 30 days, and only after that, on day 31, you could be Megaleach, and then it's ololo either giluach sheni litoraso or giluach for his nazir's tara. So now at the time that he was nirpa from Suffolk Taras, until he eats kachim, he's got 30 days of yimei zirus that pass, plus seven days yimei tarasa. So it's all told 37 days, and on the 38th day, he's allowed to eat uh, kachim. However, he needs a full 74 days. Let's see how we calculate the 74 days after his Kabbalist Nazirus in order to be Matir in which the Asiyan of Tamil Mason. Because now it could be that when he wants to drink wine, he might have had Tsaras. And therefore, the two first Tiglachios were first Chovas Tsaras. So now he needs to count seven days of Tiglachas Tuma, and then another 30 days of Nazius of Tara. So the total days that passed since his Kabbalah's Nazirus of Shloshi Vishiva Yomim because of Suffolk Tsaras. And an additional Shiva Yomim Litumaso, and then 30 days in Zeruso. So if you calculate it, what you have is 74 days. And on day 75, he will bring his Karbanos, he'll do his Giluach, and now he's allowed to drink wine and be Metamala Mason. And on the side that he was a Tomei Vadai, Umukhlad Vadai, he was both Tomei Mes and Tomei Saras, is Ochel Bekodjim Li Achar Shmona Yomim. In other words, the Tiglach's Mitzvah now is a Vada Mitzvah essay, which overrides the Isa Giluach and Nazir. So therefore, he could be Megalech immediately after Yom Nirpa. He counts seven days. He's Megalech on the seventh day, because again, he's a Vada Mitzvah. And then on the eighth day, he brings his Shtetsi Porim of Korbanus HaMitzvah, and he's allowed to eat Kodshim, but Shosav Yain of Mitzvah and Mesim, Chak Liachar, Arboim Ve'arba Yom. All right. From the time his Kabbalah's Nazirus, he has 44 days. Why? Because he's also a Mitzora. So he couldn't begin his 
Sfiras Shivas Yom Lutumoso until after seven days of Giluach. That's the Giluach Sheni of Torah. So that gives you 14. And after he was Megalech Lutumoso, he counts another 30 days for the Zeros of Tara because he was definitely a Tommy Mess. So let's get the whole calculation here. How many days have passed since the day of his Kabbalah's disease? He needs Shiva Litzaraso and another Shiva Litumaso, and now he needs 30 days Litziruso. So that calculation gives me 14 plus 30 is 44. I'm sorry, is what is 14? Yes, 44. And on day 45, he's going to bring his Karbanas, he's going to be Malukaleach, and he's allowed to drink wine of even time in Now the question is, why is it that Tiglachas for a Chovas Saras cannot serve at the same time a, an additional key, uh, purpose of Chovas Nazirus? So Giluche Mitzora and Nazir are equal, they're identical. But there are the following distinctions. A Nazir Tar and a Mitzora B'Tiglachas Hashniya the Giluach is Lahavir es Hagadel Mitzara Mitzvah. Whereas Nazir Shenitma or Mitzorin Teglachas Rishona, the Giluach is in order to delay so that he gets a Gidul Seor Mishum Mitzvah. Nazir Tor is Megalech after Zrika Stama Karman. A Nazir Shenitma ve a Mitzorin Teglachas Ashnia. A megalchem before Zrika Saddam, and a nozer shenitma is megalech after he was tovel, whereas tiglachas mitzora is before he was tovel. So shol talmidim, the talmidim asked Rav Shimba Yochai, nozer tar u mitzora. So a nozer who he completed his nazir's tara or a mitzora on that day when he was mashlim his nazir's. Before he got a chance to be Megaleach, he became a Tzora, a Mitzora, Venirpa. So it means that he's in between two Giluchim. He has one Giluach, Fashlomis Nazirus Kilchas, another Giluach, which is the first of the, gilu, the Shnei Giluchim of Mitzora. Maushi Galech to Glachas Achas, Can he kill two birds with one stone? Meaning, can this Tiglachas be Ol Chovaso, Hain Mitzad Giluach Mitzora, the Hain Mitzad Giluach Nazirus? Amalahem and Rav Shimon Bar Yochai responds, Ain Omegalech. He cannot use one single Tiglachas for these two, but rather, first he has to be Megalach and be Megalech and be metar from it, Sora. And then he asked him Galeach for Tiglachas Nozir. Omulo Lama. Tell me to say why. Omulahem. And Rabbi Shimba Yochai responds, Ilu. If the purpose of both Giluchim was identical, then just like Zer, the Mitzora, has that purpose of Giluach, in order to be chosel gadol saro for the purpose of a mitzvah, the gamzeh and also another tar had the same purpose of gilua, in order to now be have a second gidul of saro for the mitzvah. Then the zeh, and if they were shava b'shava, that zeh the nazis v'galech lahavir haseyar hagadol etzlo, and that's a tiglachas l'shem mitzvah. But not for purposes of being Megadal his sayer a second time. But there, and also the Mitzora, his Giluch is all Lahavir Haser Shagadal, is Yafatem Omer. Now I would accept your argument that why can't one Tiglachas be all Lishnei Dvarim? It's one and, and one purpose and one goal for both of them. But actually, now that's not the case. Why? Because the Nazir Torah is Megaleach 
is lahavir seiro, but mitzor is megaleach legadel seiro, so that he can have a second kiluach before he brings his karbonos. So therefore, one tiglachas cannot be olul shneim because they each have a different purpose. So now the Talmudim ask him, Velo tala lo limei If what you say is correct, and I understand why the giluach of after Nazirus is not meaningful for Tiglachas Rishon of Mitzorah, but tala lo limei sefra. Why can't that giluach at the end of his Nazirus be the second Tiglachas of Mitzorah, limei sefra, because now they're identical. And the Mechaev is the same, namely, Giluach, in order to remove the Seir that was Godil, and that's the mitzvah of Tiglachas. Omer Lehem, and Arab Shemba Yochai answers his Talmidim, Ilu, if the din was that these two Giluchim were equal, and therefore Zeh, as far as the Mitzvah in his second Giluach, it's Lifnei Zrika Saddam. And Zeh Lifnei Zrika Saddam and the Giluach of the Nazir Mitzvah, of the Nazir, excuse me, would also be before the Zrika Saddam, the Korbanos, Yofat HaMomer, and then one Tiglach, we all of it both. Ella, but rather that's not true. The second Tiglach of Mitzvah is Lifnei Zrika Saddam, as it says in the Apostle by Yuki Yudalit, so it means that the Glachas of Mitzorah, his second Glachas, is before Zrika Saddam. But the Nazir, the Glachas of Nazir is the Acher Zrika Saddam. In the parasha in Noso, it says, the Gilach had Nazir, Pesach al Moedes, Rosh Nizro, the Lakachesar, Rosh Nizro, the Nosan al Asia, Shatachas Evachashlovin. So the Seder of Tiglachas is not equal. And therefore, one Tiglachas cannot be Ola Shneya. So again, the Talmudim come back and they ask, V'lo talalo limei tzorato v'neziruso v'talalo limei tzorato v'tumasa. I can understand why it's not Ola for his Nozir Tiglachas and also for Yimei Tzorato because as you said, they're fundamentally different one from the other. But I still have to ask you, why can't it be Ola to Glachas Achas Limei Tzorato Vitumoso? So in a, let's say in a case where he was Nitma, and then he was nitma, nit, Nitar from his Tuma, and Lifnei Shegilach Es Tzara Es HaTiglach Sashniya, which is Chayav Midin with Tzorah, why can't that second Tiglachas be Ola for both of them, because in both cases, the Giluach is before the Zrikas Hadam, Omar Lehem, and here Rabbi Shem Bar Yochai responds, Ilu Zeh Lifnei Vias Mayim, if the, the uh, Nazir, who's being Mitar Mitumoso, does his Giluach before his Tefillah, Vizan, the Mitzorah also, is Megaleach from his first second to Tiglachas Lifnei Vias Mayim for his Tefillah, is Yafat HaMomrin. Now, one Tiglach could be Ola Shnei. But that's not true. Ella, but what is true? Another Tome is Megaleach Liachar Bias Mayim. In the Apostle, it indicates that the Gilua could take place only after his Tvila. Because the Apostle says, Vigilach Rosho be Yom Tarasim. And Yom Tarasim means after his Tvila be Mayim. But Mitzorah, the second Tiglach, is Lufne Bias Mayim. The Pasuk says, by you, you by you, by you, by you, by you, by you, and then Verochatz Mesor Vamayim. So again, these two Tiglachos do not have the same identical din, and therefore one Tiglachas cannot be Yotze, cannot be Ola Lishnea. Omru Lo, the Talmidim are still in the dark. Oh, he says here, in the name of the Rosh and Rabbeinu Peretz, that this is a, a different Lashon. And according to this version, Amru Lo, Talmidim said to Rav Shemachai Yofa Marta, we understand everything that you said, and we now have an answer to the question, Lo Talalo, that we understand that it can't be Ola for Naziris, one Tiglachas, Lime Sofro, and Linizirusa. 
That's as far as the second Tiglachas is concerned. But we still have a question, Talalo, what about the first Tiglachas? Limei chiluto v'tumasa. For the first Tiglachas of the Mitzora, and the Tiglachas v'nazir, who is nitmar mitumasa. Let's say, on the day of Nirpa Mitzoraso, he's Nitma Mitumasa. Because Yimechi Luto are the Yom that he's a Mitzora Muchlat before his Ripud. The Zeh, both the Mitzora, whose purpose in this Giluch is Legadel, he has to be Megadel his Seir Litzorch Mitzvah, the Zeh, and also the Nazir, who's Nitmar, his purpose in Giluch is Legadel who so that he can have a second tiglachas at the end of the second period of Nazirus, when he's megadal his seor. So both cases are identical. Amalehem, and Rav Shiva Yochai says, that Nazir Torah v'hu mitzora is zev v'zei If he was a Nazir Tar, then and he was also a, a Mitzora, then it would be one Tiglachas for both of them, because Ze Legadil Vizel Lahavir Saro. Oh, just one second. Mitzora, Nozir Tavu Mitzora, is then I understand that one Tiglachas would not be Olish name. Why? Because the Mitzora's Tiglachas Rishona is Legadil Saro, so that after seven days he could do a second Tiglachas. But Ze, this Nozir Tar, is Kede Lahavir He's not. Trying to grow his hair, he's trying to get rid of his hair, cut it off. But if he im nazitome, in the case where he's a nazitome v'hu mitzor, and he's also tome b'turis mitzoras, is before tiglachas rishona, both tiglachas mitzora and tiglachas tumas mes of a nazir is Legadim. And they both have the same purpose. And now you could ask why Tiglachas Acha shouldn't be Olu Lishneim. And the answer has to be, Zeh, in the case of Mitzor, as we said it earlier, is Megalech Lefnei Tiebias Mayim, before his Tefillah. And Vizeh, but the Nazir, who's Nitmar Mitu, Nitar Mitu Maso, is Tiglachas, is Liachar Bias Mayim, as we saw in the Seder Apsukim. Here on Daf Samach Aleph, let's see if we can rush to the end of the parak. Tony Rabbi Chia, Rabbi Chia said in a brisa that why is it that a tiglachas of a nazir is not enough to be ole lechovas of itzad mitzora? And his answer was the same answer that we gave in the name of Rabbi Shimba Yochai. He said in the case of mitzora, he does giluach lefnei mayim before the tvila v'zeh, but the case. Of a nazir shenitar mitumasa megalech liachar bias mayim after his tefillah. Now, if he was a nazir tar and he contracted mitzora, then there's another reason why one tiglachas cannot be ol shneachiyuvim because zed in the case of mitzora, his second tiglachas is lefnei zrika sadomim before the korbanos were there was a zrika of the korbanos the dama korbanos on the mizbeach for zed but the nazir who's in a state of tara is Liachar Zrikas Domim, after he did his Rikas Domim and his Karbatas on the Mizbeah. So because of these Chiluke Dinim, one Tiglachas cannot be Olish name. The Mishnah says, Tiglachas Hanega, Doche Tiglachas Hanozim, Bismanshu Vada, Yavuzmanshu Sofik and Doche. And now the Gemara vacillates back and forth where the Giluach of the Sar of Nozir, Tome, is part of the Mitzvah itself, or the mitzvah is basically to get rid of his sayer of, to, of, uh, of the tome. Boy, Rami Bar Hani Arba Tiglachios, the Kamar. We had four Tiglachios that a Nazir's Megaleach in the case where he was not only Tommy Lames, but also Tommy Tumas Saras. Are they all Mishum Mitzvah? Oh, perhaps the 
Teglach Hashlishis is because of Nazir Tomei, Mishumi Vurei Seir Tuma. He just has to get rid of the Seir that was Ola Bishas Tuma. Lemaynaf Gemina. What difference it make La Loch Lemaisa with these two Tzadiyah Sofek? La Aburei Bin Nasha. Would a Nazir Tomei be able to be Yotze his Chovas Teglachas? By using a sound, a kind of deliberatory that removes his hair. E amrit mishu mitzvah la buri ben nasha lo. He cannot use a sam. He needs a tar, because any giluach of a mitzvah needs a tar. But for e amrit mishu maburi seir tuma, if the mitzvah primarily is to remove the seir of tuma, then afilu soche nasha nami. It should be enough if he removes the seir of Tumah through the Sikha B'Sam. My, what's the din? I'm a Rava Toshma. I'll prove it from a Brisa, which we quoted back on Daf Samach. As far as in Nazir, who has two Sveikos, he's a Same, Sovik Tumas Mes and a Sovik Tumas Saras. It says, Umagaleach, Arba Teglochios. He needs four different Teglochios. If you're going to maintain that the third gilua, the mitzvah is to remove the seir atome, is an afilu bisholosh, nami sagulu. Three out of the four tiglachos should be enough for him. Why? Because zuash lishes, the third tiglachos, which is because he was a nazu tome, that's totally superfluous. Why? Because he already removed the Seir Atome with the Teglachas of Mitzvah that came earlier. But rather we see that even in Nazir Tome, his Giluch is Mishum Mitzvah, it's Mi Ikra Mitzvah, Shmamina, Hadra Nalecha, Shnei Nizirio, Nizirus. Shnei Nizirim. Okay then, so now we have Daf Samach Aleph for Shabbos and Amir Shem Samach Beis, and then on Yom Chamishi we finish for Lineder Mesechta Mesechta Nazi. So I just want to wish you a great Shabbos, and thanks so much for being with me. As always, we should be zocher refuah shleima. Shabbos should be a mirpa'ah.